Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Another week, another cup of tea. I am not sure what week it is. I think it's week 24, but I could be wrong. Um, but this week we're talking about uh, what people do for inheritance, what people do for money, you know, the way they kiss ass and just, you know, act in such a disgusting way for money, for money. Um, for money. Um, and we'll talk about both sides. We'll talk about the people that act that way for money. And we'll also talk about the people that have the money and kind of dangle it over your head and, you know, make you uh, basically make you like a puppet. Um, you know, do as I say or you don't get the money. But before we get into all that, uh, as I said last week, uh, we're going to be starting the podcast off with a shot of Screwball. Um, for those who don't know, it's peanut butter whiskey. Um, and a big reason why I do it is because of the name and the brand. Um, it's called Screwball. It's got a sheep right there on the cover. And on the bottom, it says to the misfits, black sheep and screwballs. So if we're going to take a shot of something, you know, might as well be this. And, you know, I'm already an open book, but uh, I feel like liquor uh, liquor kind of opens it up even a little more. Uh, even though I didn't know that was possible for me to open up any more than I already do. But it is what it is. As always, if you'd like to take a shot with me, feel free. Uh, L'chaim. That one was way more than a shot. Uh, but it is what it is. All right. All right, so I just shook my table. So, uh, yeah, I mean, let's get into it. And as always, I talk from experience. Um, so let's talk about me. Uh, there have been times in the past that I didn't necessarily kiss ass for money, but uh, I was doing things I didn't want to do. I was going places I didn't want to go uh, because, you know, if I didn't, I might, you know, maybe I won't get inheritance from people. Maybe I won't get money from people. And, you know, it was at that point where I don't do great financially. You know, I'm not, I, you know, live paycheck to paycheck like any average person. Um, so, you know, any extra money always helped. Uh, so it got to the point where I kind of lowered my standards. I allowed people to treat me like shit. I allowed people to disrespect me and those close to me. Um, it's gross when I look back at it. Um, but at the time I thought that's what I had to do to financially survive. Um, but you know, I grew up, I gained respect for myself and I now have no financial help, but, uh, I'm not being disrespected. I'm not being treated like shit. I'm not doing the things I don't want to do, but not everybody has that mental state. You know, people prefer to, uh, be, be fucking terrible human beings because it's what other people want and that's how they'll get money. Um, so a few examples, um, you know, I've seen people, you know, kiss ass to those who they think they're going to get money from, or maybe they, they know they'll get money from, um, and they kiss ass. And in that process, they treat other people poorly. Um, they treat other people who, um, you know, may not kiss ass, may not do the things they like. They, they treat them poorly, poorly. Um, and it, it's, my whole thing with that is like, what happens when you do get the money? What happens when you do get the inheritance? You know, the the people you were kissing ass to are no longer here. They're no longer on this on this planet, on this earth, on in this world. They're no longer here with us. So what happens when you spent years and years and years kissing ass to get some money, to get some inheritance, and those people are no longer here? What happens to the people you treated poorly through that process? What happens to the people that, you know, saw how grossly you were acting for this money? Yeah, you might be financially set, you might be able to buy yourself a nice big house, some nice cars, you know, live comfortably financially, but, you know, what happens? You, do you try to come back and build a relationship back with those people that you treated poorly? Because I know for myself, you know, I would never accept that from anybody. If you treated me like shit, because uh, other people wanted you to act some sort of way, and now those people are gone and you want to, you know, switch up and be friends and, you know, part of my life, nah, I'm not about that. Um... Some people might accept it, but not me. Um, uh, another a big example, and this is kind of specific, but I won't, you know, I'm not out here to drop names. But um, back in 2017, I believe, 2016 or 20, I think it was 2017, um, I was at an event. Uh, you know, I was rocking like a basketball jersey tank top type, you know, a sleeveless thing. Um, I had, My hair was dyed pink. I think I had pink hair at the time. All my tattoos were, you know, exposed. Um, I remember I was standing, minding my own business, and somebody came up to me and they said, you know, 
if you want to be a real person in the real world, you have to do real people things. And I was confused at first. And then the more they kept talking, the more I understood that they were talking about my tattoos and my pink hair because I dyed my hair because I had all these tattoos all over me and they were all exposed in like this sleeveless shirt. Um, I wasn't a real person. And now, mind you, the person that said that to me was somebody who claims that you know, to this day that I'm not the black sheep. I'm not a black sheep. Uh, I'm treated the same as everybody else is treated. I'm treated equally. Uh, I know for damn sure being told you're not a real person and, you know, can't do things in the real world. I, I, I guarantee you that's never been told to anybody else close to me by this person. Um, so that was kind of the final stroll for me. And I'm like, nah, fuck this. Like, I don't got to put up with that shit. Um, and when I expressed my feelings to other people, I had people tell me, you know, don't distance yourself, don't don't uh, push push away, don't don't uh, don't take it that way, don't uh, don't push that person out of your life because you might not get anything when they're gone. And it's like, okay, I'm, so am I supposed to take disrespect? Am I supposed to be disrespected? you know, fucking in a public setting as well, whether it's behind closed doors or in a public setting, I don't deserve to be disrespected and treated like shit in hopes that I'll get some money one day. Um, so that's, that's my biggest thing is like, you're, you're supposed to be disrespected. You're supposed to take shit from people. Cause one day you might, might get money. Uh, that's not me, man. And let's, let's flip roles. I've seen people to like dangle the money over, people's heads uh me I, I've had the money dangled over my fucking head um and we talked about that a podcast about you know accepting gifts from people and being careful who you accept those gifts from um you know it's been dangled over my head oh, I'll do this or the thing I bought you I'm taking it away or oh, I'll do this or you know I'm I'm uh not gonna help you financially or oh you do this you go here um it's just fucking stupid I mean and people do it with family people do it with friends people do it with significant others and their partners um i mean i've never been in the situation where you know i've dated somebody and they were just you know with me for the money and i had to dangle i don't i don't have money that's my whole thing like i don't have anything to dangle over people's heads um but i see it i see it from the outside looking in you know gold diggers is what they call it um gold diggers who comfortably live with being disrespected and treated like shit but it's fine because they get money they get to hold their partner's credit card they get nice cars they get to live in a nice house they get to go on all these fucking special extravagant vacations um so it, it's at the point where it's like where do you sell your pride at um some people don't mind some people will take the disrespect and live luxurious lives knowing that when the person treating them like shit is gone and no longer here uh they get that money and my biggest question is, what happens after that person has gone and you get the money or you don't get the money? What happens to the people that you treated like shit in the process, man? That's that's my biggest question. Um, and, you know, I'll see soon enough with some specific things when people are no longer on this on this earth. Uh, you know, how people approach me that, you know, have treated me like shit almost my entire life because that's how they need to do it to get their money. Um it's just gross, man. I look back when I was younger, uh, just, you know, I did act certain ways because I needed financial help and I regret it. I'd rather live paycheck to paycheck, but be comfortable in every other way. Maybe not financially, but every other way. Um, yeah, man, I think that's it without getting too specific, without dropping names, without letting you know exactly what I'm talking about. Moral of the story is if, if you're somebody with money and you think you have all these friends, if you think your partner really loves you, if you think your family likes you, go a little bit without giving them money. Go a little bit without going on trips or, you know, flashing all your nice stuff. See if they're really around. See if they're really around for you. See if they really want to be in your life or if they're just there for the money. And maybe some people like that. Maybe some people, they have the money and they, they know they have that power and they like it. Um... And then on the flip side, you know, if, if you're if you're struggling financially or, or if you're just getting the benefit of having money given to you or you know you're going to get a nice big inheritance one day from certain people. I mean, look, if it's worth being treated like shit, if you really need the money that bad, if you really want the money that bad, I mean, I'd go for it, I guess. But 
it's not worth it, man. It's not worth being treated like shit. Money is... Money's not worth it. Money money fucking causes so much fucking problems. And it's so disgusting. And I, I see it. I've dealt with it. Ugh, it's just so shitty. But... I think that's all I got to say about that. Uh, next week, I want to talk about regrets in our lives. Um, I'm always told, like, oh, you're going to regret your tattoos. You're going to regret not finishing college. Whatever it is, let's talk about it. Uh, but until then, stay beautiful. Don't judge people. Don't be a dick. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>